Here we're looking at a Rosemount Model 3051S differential pressure transmitter, a supercell model. And this is a wireless device. This particular transmitter has an antenna on it and it communicates wirelessly. However, despite the presence of an antenna, it still has terminals down here we can clip in with a heart communicator, which we have done so right here with the Model 375 heart communicator. We're going to navigate through some of the menus here and see some of the options within this transmitter. Presently, we see uh, under device uh, setup, you can navigate there and take a look at some of the various options underneath that menu. Under detailed setup, we go in here <coughs> under the output condition submenu. Of course, these menus and submenus are going to vary depending on the particular model of the device you're working with. We see here a network option, and if I navigate under network, we see a couple of things, uh, a network ID and join key. These are the two parameters that must be programmed into the device for it to join the wireless network. This is how Rosemount implements security with their wireless heart devices. Someone has to physically connect a heart communicator to the device and set the network identification number and also the join key, which is like a password. Unless those parameters are set properly, matching the wireless gateway device, there's no way this particular transmitter can talk to that gateway. So security is handled on a physical basis by someone coming up to this transmitter and programming it with the appropriate network identification number and join key. And again, the join key can be thought of as a password. So looking at the network number right here, if I were to navigate there, we see right there, if I navigate there to network ID, you can see the number right there. If I were to change that number, it would break the connection between this transmitter and the wireless network. And same with the join key. You can think of that as a password. If that join key were not set properly, it would fail to connect with the network. The join key is a very long number, and so I'm not going to bother typing it back in. I'm going to abort out of this and go back. And also, under network, I can go into the power configuration here, the data rate. I can change my transmit rate, which I would like to do right now. Presently, it's set at 300 seconds, which is once every five minutes. And that's awfully slow for the things I'm trying to do with this transmitter. So I'm going to set this to the fastest update rate possible with this particular model, and that is 15 seconds per update. Then I'm going to send that information to the transmitter. When I do that, the little asterisk will go away. And now, this transmitter is configured for an update rate of 15 seconds. So at this point in time, I can navigate out of the menu structure. I can go back to its home page, where it shows it's reading zero PSI. And I can exit out of this and turn the power off for the heart communicator. And yes, I do want to shut down. There we go.